That's another thing. I was brainwashed to leave the house at 18. That's all my father kept saying to me. I can't wait till you're 18. You're no longer my responsibility. <laughs> brainwashed. I got kids living at home at 30 now, 25. I don't even know. I just, I, I never, it never entered my mind that I could stay home past 18. Everything. If I complained about the dinner, now, man, this mashed potatoes are cold. When you're 18, living on your own, you can have all the hot mashed potatoes you want. Didn't matter. When you're 18 and on your own, that's all I kept hearing. When you're 18 and on your own, I just assume 18, I'm gone. But I'll see you guys. Where are you going? I don't know, but I got to leave. <laughs> Boy, in the playgrounds. Have you been to the playground with your grandkids? Have you been? There's no monkey bars. First thing I noticed, I mean, I loved the monkey bars when I was a kid. And some woman tells me, well, they took them away because kids were falling off the monkey bars and hurting themselves. Of course, I said, and? You know, <laughs> it can't be the only reason. She says, well, it's reason enough. I go, no, it's not. She goes, where'd you grow up? I said, Chicago Park District. Not only did kids fall off the monkey bars, we shoved a lot of them off. I mean, for gosh sake. And yes, there were tragedies, but the police would leave the chalk line on the concrete as a warning to the rest of us. You know? <laughs> Well, she turned on her heels and left after that. No slide. Have you seen this? It's not a slide anymore. It's six feet high. It's plastic. It's not even slippery plastic. My poor grandson had to pull himself down the slide four inches at a time. Wee, Papa. Wee, Papa. Wee, wee, wee. It's not a slide. It's a scoot. We had a slide six stories high, solid steel. July would hit a temperature of 285 degrees. You had to do 45 miles an hour on the way down. You'd lose two, two layers of skin if you sat on that thing. Every now and then you'd smell burning flesh and some kid would be in the middle. I'm hanging on, man. <laughs> now it's wee, wee, wee. I just wish to teach, teach this generation math, basic math. To this day, I'm telling you, my parents held up flashcards at a dinner table, you know. Basic problem, seven and two, nine and four, six and three, whatever. You know, we learned to do it. I mean, I can see numbers today, you know, on the page, and I, I, my brain just solves them because I was brainwashed to solve these things. Now, man, it's so bad. I go to McDonald's now. You might as well have fun with it, you know. I wait for the kid to ring it up. I don't care if it rounds up, evens up, or not. I just drop three pennies on the counter, step back, and I watch the show. <laughs> um, you know what I'm talking about, it's just... The eyes roll back in their head. Oh, boy. Ah. Takes about 30 seconds to go. Is there a homeschooled kid anywhere around here? Anywhere. Homeschool. I don't know how they do it. They're 